Good evening to all of you. Thank you so much for this great appreciation, great award. I cherish this because many times in life when we go ahead doing our thing in the world, hoping that this is the right thing to do, we have no idea because there is no nothing to test it, there is no benchmark and the world needs a lot of stuff and the world is in its current shape, you know it very well. So there are so many things to do and we do not know whether we are doing the right thing. So when we get such appreciation, it tells us, yes, you are in the right track. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank, thank you to the conscious leadership setup, the infrastructure, and the team behind it, all of you who voted for it, and, and especially Brenda and uh, Mervyn King. Thank you. I was honored to sit next to him in today's function. Thank you so much for that. And to all of you, uh, I appreciate it. Now, being conscious is not a right, it's a responsibility. First level of being conscious starts with being conscious that we are alive. This is number one. We are alive today. Second level of being conscious is to know that our life is temporary. If you live 80 years, it's only 80 birthdays, 80 Christmas, 80 everything. That's not a lot. If you live 80 years, it's 29,200 days, that's all. And in that time, so much of time is spent on sleeping, gossiping, doing so many things. And sometimes we fight ourselves most of the time. When we wake up, we are not happy because we tend to compare with another person. We tend to compete with another person, thinking that we can excel than what we are now. It's not true. Please remember, we all believe that we are living in one world called this earth. Is it true? No. We are all our own worlds. Nobody is same as another. Please remember, we are only in one space, but we are not part of one world. We are all our own worlds. We only can associate with how we are. We cannot associate with something or anything about anybody or with somebody thinking that they are like us. That's not true. Nobody is like us. Our thumb impression is unique to us. There is nobody like us. So how foolish it is to compare with another and say that I can excel that. That's not true. All we have to do is to excel from our yesterday to today or excel in what we are. And that brings uniqueness, authenticity. World is looking for that. World is looking at how authentic you are. World is not looking for imitations and world has no regard for imitations. There's no, no, no way you can compete and then you can behave like another and, and still be accepted. Now, uh, I'm, I'm not here for a quick speech, but I wanted to, I, I remember right, as I was sitting there, I was remembering the last uh, moments of Socrates. This is a story which I heard. Socrates drank poison and he was dying. There were people around him and he had closed his eyes and he was slipping into death. One person asked him, Sir, do you have any regrets? Suddenly, he opened his eyes and he had tears coming down. He said, Yes. I could not thank all the people who helped me to stay liberated. I consumed food. I don't know who made them. I consumed a lot of things to stay alive until now and I don't know who did it, who served me, who did all these things. I could not thank anybody. So I have regrets. I could not thank them. 
living consciously. This was the last message from Socrates. To live consciously, we should always live with gratitude. Be grateful for everything. Today we are living here. Heart is beating. There is something to do. Tomorrow, no idea. No idea. As I said, if you live 80 years, it's only 29,000 days. That's not a lot of days. There's no time to compete, no time to fight. We have to do something on earth. I was with uh, Craig Foster, the, uh, the feature Oscar winner for my Octopus teacher. I came to see him too in Cape Town. Very sensitive man and we resonated with each other. And likewise, I was with uh, Dr. Samir Osmanagic in Sarajevo, in, in the pyramids of Bosnia, just before I came here. I came from Sarajevo. So uh, these are people very conscious, very much conscious and giving their last drop of blood for a cause connected to earth. Please remember, while we are talking this, rainforests are burning. Since weeks now, we are trying to do something in the Amazon forest. So much of acres of land are burnt, gone. And this is the lungs of the world, burnt and so much of disaster going on here but we are probably not so conscious about all this because if we are conscious i always say we should shed we should discard our hypocrisy and just presume or assume or pretend that everything is okay i'm not trying to be pessimistic nor i'm telling you to be pessimistic or uh, to do something just to please the world or something but feel it the moment you start feeling then we'll start doing please remember i was working in corporate as well as it was told here uh, at one point in time i had no satisfaction from what i do money was okay position was okay everything was good what money can buy i have enjoyed but again contentment factor i believe the best earning of a lifetime is contentment for that we need stability. Stability has to happen from mind. And if for stability is sick, we need to have clarity of purpose. We need to know exactly what are we doing here, why we are here, why. Secondly, clarity gives effectiveness. So our activity will be effective. Please remember, the first part of our life as child, we were not effective because we were dependent. Last part of our life also, we, we may not be effective because we are dependent again. So effective life is only a small part of our total life. That time, if we don't have clarity, if you are chasing something, imagining tomorrow we will be happy, we might be wrong. So stability is stability based on clarity of purpose. That leads to effectiveness. Effective activities lead to contentment. And contentment is your best gift of this life. If you have a contented existence, you are powerful, you are strong, you have, you have a great presence on earth. All of us can do that. All of us have it. And, and I'm looking at people who are leaders in their own right, in their own organization and in the world. And you can actually make a big difference. I was addressing a group of uh, very, very big businessmen in, in England, in London. And they were all multi-millionaires, of course. And the, all the questions, I mean, it was an interactive session, and all the questions they asked was how to, how to find contentment. And that was, that was the point here. Activity cannot lead to contentment if there is no clarity. If we are clear what we have to do on earth, it will all happen. And it is not connected to our usual life of taking birth, having an education, having a job, having a wife, having a child, having a house, and then come out and then we die. That's, that's a usual mechanical way of social existence, but that's not the point here. Individually, what we are, what we could do, and there is tremendous strength in everybody. We are all unique and that's our strength. Once again, thank you very much for honoring me, giving me the space and the time to speak these words. I wish all of you great health, great vitality, great clarity, and also great effectiveness in this world. I'm walking with you. I love you. Thank you so much.
grateful, be thankful, be authentic. What a wonderful message. To present this year's awards, please welcome our partner CEO from Christ Serve, Merrick Abel.